All right, River Bluff Baggers here on day two of our great Mississippi Road adventure. Great day, guys. What do you think? Hey, it's cool this morning. Uh, we're going to wear our jackets for a little bit, and uh, it's going to be a beautiful ride. And uh, if you guys haven't heard, we'll bring more to this, but in this little town, they got a uh, Freedom Rock. One of the things we do yearly is we do uh, take a ride up to Iowa and take a look at the Freedom Rocks in different counties. And some lady walking by just pointed out that they've got a Freedom Rock here in Clinton. So we'll take a look at this rock real quick and get on the road. And she said, we better look at yeah, it. Yeah, you better look at it, she said. down the road. See you guys. Passing through these floodgates puts you in the beautiful town of Galena, which is nestled in the Mississippi River Bluffs in northeastern Illinois. The Galena downtown is filled with boutique shops, restaurants, an historic hotel, a brewery, and several tasting rooms for the wineries that are located in the town and in the surrounding countryside. There are many bed and breakfast options for lodging in Galena, and the TripAdvisor travel review site has listed Galena among its top 10 charming small towns. Historically, Galena used to be a hub for steamboats going up and down the Galena River to and from the nearby Mississippi River for trade and commerce. The town has experienced severe flooding in its day, so due to the building of extensive dikes and the downtown floodgates, the size of the Galena River has been decreased, and the river is now used primarily for float trips and family fun. Although the Galena River, which flows near the downtown area, is considerably smaller than it used to be, Galena still retains the spirit and feel of an old-timey river town. Other notable attractions include the home where Ulysses S. Grant lived as he worked in his father's tannery and leather goods shop just prior to the Civil War. It's the home where he resided in the years after the war until he became president. Just south of Galena, you can spend some time in the winter hitting the slopes at the Chestnut Mountain Ski Resort and get this. Red Stripe, a beer most associated with the country of Jamaica, got its start in Galena, Illinois. Galena has the feel of two towns that are River Bluff bagger favorites, Weston, Missouri and Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Much like these two towns, the main street of Galena is lined with historic buildings that take the visitor back in time. As you can see from our passing through, the downtown seems like it'll never end. And just outside of Galena are beautiful roads that both run nearby the Mississippi River and wind through the river bluffs, making for an enjoyable day riding the motorcycle. All right, sometimes on these trips, I find the weirdest stuff. So we're stopping here at the Dickieville Grotto. Not totally sure what it is, but we're gonna go take a look. The Dickieville Grotto and Shrines are the creative and artistic work of Father Matthias Wernerus, a Catholic priest and pastor of the Holy Ghost Parish in the village of Dickieville, Wisconsin. Father Wernerus served there from 1918 to 1931. The grotto is a creation in stone, mortar, and bright colored objects collected from all over the world. The building materials include colored glass, gems, antique pottery shards, stalagmites and stalactites, seashells, starfish, coral, quartz, and rock crystals. 
This beautiful handiwork built from 1925 to 1930 was dedicated to the unity of two great American ideals, love of God and love of country. These religious and patriotic shrines were constructed without the use of blueprints. There are several shrines and grottos on the grounds of this parish, including the Grotto of the Blessed Virgin. Other works include the Stations of the Cross and Shrines to Christ the King and Important Saints of the Faith. There is no cost to visit the shrine, but donations for upkeep of the grounds and maintaining this incredible display of art are welcome. Well, guys, I'd say this is one of the more unique places we've stopped and yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a, Thanks for looking at us. Oh, yeah. I was just, you know, when I was a kid, they used to have a show called uh, Road... Roadside Revelations, and these guys would travel around and look at art like this. And I'm pretty sure this was featured on there. Uh, but that's a uh, man. This ought to be on back roads of America right yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, what a piece of artwork. So, yeah, and just a little small town in Wisconsin. Yeah, interesting stop today. So, all right, we'll move on down the road here. Come from places with river bluffs, but these Mississippi river bluffs are just incredible. We've had a great ride today. What do you guys say? Yeah, well, yeah it's been amazing. We're on the Great River Road, uh, going up alongside the Mississippi, and it's just been a fantastic road. A little rough, but man, we've we've been zigzagging in the bluffs a little bit, and then down along the river for the most part. It's been great riding. I've seen a ton of bikes. Oh my a gosh. A ton of bikes. There is a ton of bikes in this area. Yeah. You sing, Joe? Very All many. That. Yeah. Very many. More than in Kansas City. Yeah. <laughs> a lot more. It's been right. great. So, all right, we're making our way up to uh, Lake City, Minnesota, where we're going to spend the night, and uh, we'll uh, keep you posted on the rest of our doings. Take a little scan around here, show them where we are. Baggers here. We just finished the uh, ride up north on the uh, Mississippi River Road, a little bit in Wisconsin, a little bit in Iowa, a little bit in Minnesota. Great ride. Not a lot of footage today because we rode interstate all day to get ourselves home. Yeah, I tried to get them to do this in uh, 24 hours because it was only 1,100 and some odd oh miles. Oh my goodness. They, they didn't want to do it. So we, we took our time. We had a great time. Great views, great roads. It, it was a good trip. The temperature was what mid 80s, so perfect weekend to get, to do this on the road. So yeah, and he's full of shit. But anyway, <laughs> um, you know what? A lot of people don't get out and check out our country. Get out there and check it out. We have, our country is beautiful. Um, it's a lot more beautiful on motorcycles, of course. But get out there and check out the country. It's it's a beautiful place. Kayak to Mississippi is what's next. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Like and share. Yes. Like us and share. Thank you. Thank you.